You were at the press conference. We couldn't get up with each other. Yeah. Jerron and this Cody Crowley, July 13th. Yeah. Now we got a date for it. How you feeling about it? Again, before we start, um, that day was an emotional day for me. I mean, that was my baby mother's birthday. Uh, she passed away five years ago. So I really just wanted, I don't know, I wanted in the mood. But I had to be there. Eddie Hearn did a great job. Great job. Boots. He, Boots and, uh, what's his name, Cody Carley, he did a great job. Everybody, the build up. Bozy had to get up out of his seat. Things almost got physical. You know what I'm saying? Yo. <laughs> All right, so we from Philly, people feel like people feel like we be biased, right? <laughs> to me, the manager was trying to sell the fight. Yeah. You've known Bo for years. Yeah. Bo wasn't trying to sell shit. He was Bo, dead serious. Bo, you got Pete Bozy, right? Bo had, <laughs> Bo had, uh, Bo had uh, uh, a toothpick in his mouth, right? And I'm seeing all this from where I'm sitting. Bo got the toothpick in his mouth. And Bo the whole time, Bo looking around. <laughs> Bo like, this shit crazy. <laughs> And then all you know, you got somebody going at you. <laughs> Boy wasn't playing. Yo, did you peep? Did you peep? He wasn't playing. He was for real. Did you peep the lean back? He's he like, like, who, he like, who you talking to? He leaned back. <laughs> who you talking to? <laughs> yo, yo, one day, because I'm going to tell you, yo, I'm going to tell you, Bo well. He wasn't playing. One day about Bo, he don't like nobody challenging. Don't no challenge him. If it happened, let it happen. Bo that kind of guy. Yeah. If it just so happened, me and you at each other, I mean, let it happen. But, but don't challenge me. You know what I'm saying? So... Bo was dead serious. Oh, I know Ohe was trying. He was trying to pitch it out there. You know what I mean? And then he called him Papa Boots. <laughs> he ain't like that. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to play. Yeah, he was trying to play. So Ooh. Bo was for real. So that's why it was a good joint. It was funny. Yo, he told him, come <laughs> up to the gym after this. Yeah. So I promise yeah, he said you, he I'll stop it. <laughs> he invited him to the gym. That's a long ride, too, from South Philly. Yeah. Golly, yeah. So long ride to get an ass whooped. So, um, I don't know. They did a great job, though, man. They did. I like Eddie Hearn. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. Walking into the Wells Fargo for a boxing event felt crazy. Because I'm like, this is where the Sixers play at. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I'm walking in the gym. I'm like, damn, this shit look crazy. As soon as you walk in, when you get past security, they got big ass uh, billboard, electric billboard. Of uh, boots and uh, car right there, smacking in the face. I'm like, dang, this joint is crazy. So that was special. That was a special moment that we having something that big, boxing wise, in Philadelphia. A fight where the Sixers played. You know what I mean, that was that was. So Eddie Hearn did it nice with that. Boots did it nice. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, just, I'm just, I just can't wait now. What does it mean that your young boy is the first fighter to headline at Wells Fargo? I mean, all that, me, again, me and Boots, we cool, we cool, like, I know his family, I, I, if, if, I never hung around Boots or not like that, because I'm a little younger than his older brothers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so if anything, I spent more time around them, mm -hmm. but I watched his career, I watched him when he started fighting amateurs, and I mean, he was getting better and better and better, I, I sparred him when he was like 13, you know what I'm saying, and to be like, damn, that young boy, to watch that, to have, like the young boy got a headliner in the city at the World Fargo, that's like, yo, that's it's just crazy. It's I mean, crazy. I'm who a, was your who was one of your sparring partners, right? Who? Yeah. I sparred Pooh probably like four times in my life. Like, probably, like four times. Pooh, so when I was alright, cuz when I was like 15, I think Pooh was like 20. Pooh was like 20. So Pooh was hot back then. And I ain't I never boxed him. I, I knew about him, I heard about him, but I never boxed him. Very sharp. I mean, so that's when I became like a Pooh fan. Like, oh, I'm, I like this boy. He can box. I mean, the Pooh started getting it popping at the Blue Horizon, and 2300 and all that. I mean, when it was the Alhambra. So, so that's crazy because I asked Boost the other day how it felt. Um, but that's where I know they family. You know what I'm saying? I know they family from that. I'm not, I know they family from going in the original dungeon. You know what I'm saying? Under the church. You know what I'm saying? And watching his dad coach fighters, so many fighters. You know what I mean? From the city and from around the country. Um, even the world, yeah, guys come in. Um, and for for boots to get it popping like this, that it's just crazy watching it. Like I, I don't have immediate feelings to it. Like it's not my little brother, but to see him come up and I feel like and he from my city, and then for me to go well, again where the Sixers play, and as we go in there for a fight though, I'm like, dang, like yeah, this shit crazy. It was crazy. 
Germantown takes over the Wells Fargo? Yeah, like for real, for real. Like, I seen some dudes like who like they basketball fans, but they was down there for boots. I seen some some good hood hood dudes. You know what I mean? I seen I seen yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the hood came out, uh, it was everybody came out. Yo, everybody came out. Would you make of the manager kind of capping uh saying that it was only ten people in there, yo? I'm a, I'm a witness. It wasn't only <laughs> it wasn't only ten people. Um He did that though to, to try to touch you know what I mean touch Phyllis. But it was a it was it was a nice event. It was a nice event. I was you know what I mean I felt good walking in that joint. It was a nice event. I had a little gift for Cody Crawley by cutting. You know what I mean? Really What'd you have for Cody? I had him, um, I had got him a ginger ale, day soda. I, it's these little granola bars. I forgot who make them, but I, I eat them, Jones. You know what I mean, and I had got him a steak, but I ate the steak, and, and I was just gonna give him a granola <laughs> bar. <laughs> and the soda. You know what I mean? But they wouldn't let me bring it in there. So I, so I, I mean, I was trying to show hospitality, the city of brotherly love. You know what I mean? Does the watching the press conference make you more excited for the fight? It do because. Now, now because of the press conference, everybody is t giving up the uh, Cody Crawley story. Yeah. So I'm seeing little, little uh, videos yeah. and stuff, people talking about him, and they saying it's going to be a good fight. I, I really thought it was already going to be a good fight for him because yeah. Cody Crawley, he had something to fight for. He undefeated. He a tough guy. He going he gonna, he gonna to make you fight. He, yeah. he one of those guys. He going to make you fight. So I like the matchup.